What's interesting, because in the footwear industry, I would say that it's not strategy that's driving innovation. It's innovation that's driving strategy. Because what we're finding is our designers are trying to find the magic new compound. And most sneakers are made from EVA or TPU, very basic chemical compounds. And what I explain to our designers is that there is no magic material now. We have to wait until the 3D printing com companies come up with a new material. Polyester didn't exist 100 years ago. So there's going to be new biomaterials that don't even exist yet. But that's going to be driven actually from the manufacturing side. So Flyknit was actually created as a trend, but it started in manufacturing. So I think that's just a different perspective to think about uh, when it comes to some innovation and strategy. So these are the three top trends. Uh, the first on the left is the Adidas 3D printed uh, sneaker. I actually have the midsole material. As you can see, the design is very different. And that's why on the previous slide there was a uh, biomimicry, because you can have a hollowed out midsole and it will give you bigger uh, performance attributes and different durometers, which you can't normally do in an EVA midsole. And then body scanning made to fit and customization and personalization like Nike ID. So basically, we're going to be experiencing a global, global shift, and we're almost calling it cyber manufacturing, because I truly believe that beyond 3D and 4D printing, we're going to have an ecosystem of new technologies that will help us move into a new manufacturing state for the footwear industry. So what is the art of an innovation launch, and how do we innov basically launch this technology into the footwear industry? Well, we have to create a 3D ecosystem, and the first is 3D design. Most footwear designers are still sketching on paper or uh, drawing in Illustrator. So one of the key tasks that I had coming into Calaris was to teach our designers to design in 3D. This is pretty commonplace in a lot of other industries, but you'd be surprised. Outside of athletic footwear companies and apparel companies, designers are still sketching, hand sketching, having design reviews with pieces of paper on the wall, and using Illustrator. So this is basically how we quantify the ROI and reducing prototyping. So right now we'll have a line plan, 2D sketches, illustrator sketches, sit in a room and have a design review, have one to three rounds of samples going back and forth between China. So that's 30 to 50 days. And then you'll have your salesman samples at the end of 50 days. But when you have a 3D design of a shoe, you can have a 3D render made within one to two days in the office. We have a digital review. Uh, review. You can pre-line that 3D render with an account. And I have some examples of where we sold just off of, off of a 3D render. We didn't even have to make the shoe. And then you can cut the upper pattern from the 3D design in the factory. And then you have one round of sample to show to your key accounts. So this is basically something that we would envision in the footwear industry. I'm sure it looks pretty normal to a lot of people in the room, but this is a big jump for us in the footwear industry. And it really helps the designers interact and make better decisions up front, rather than waiting for samples to go back and forth. So these are some 3D renders that our designers did. Uh, it took them about a month to use the software. So I think they did a really good job. They use a mixture of Romans CAD, Autodesk, Dell Cam, and Keyshot. Uh, with anyone that's familiar with the software. And we actually uh, draw on the actual imported digital last. So you get the, act, the, the true footwear measurements. So basically, 3D printing. You are all familiar with 3D printing. Um, it goes back to the early 1980s. It's not a new concept. Um, I was talking earlier that 3D printing and prototyping is kind of everyday news now. We are looking at 3D printing for manufacturing in the footwear industry, which I think is extremely important. Um, what's really going to change the game in the footwear and apparel industry is the actual materials. Um, right now, though, if you are interested in downloading my necklaces 3D printed, I have pictures of jewelry here, you can go to any of these marketplaces and buy 3D printed jewelry or um, objects. You can download an STL file and print it at home. But this is a really big uh, business right now in the 3D printing in industry, and it's uh, open source. So it's, it's great to give consumers and makers a chance to show their work and to share their files. 
So this is one of my favorite quotes. Is uh, the founder of Twitter, Biz Stone, said, in 10 years, Nike could just be a pure software company. We'll just 3D print our sneakers. Software is really going to become a big part of the footwear manu manufacturing space. And the way that we look at manufacturing is going to change.